Well, another group of prison recruits joined the ranks at Her Majesty's Prison after completing four months of intense training. In February, the hand-picked group of some 40 men and women began their initial training process, which ended today with a graduation ceremony at the prison grounds. Prison Superintendent Patrick Wright says it's the mandate of the government to ensure that all prison officers are adequately trained with the skills and tools needed to perform effectively and efficiently and assured the new recruits that they will be treated with dignity and respect, but that they must abide by prison guidelines. This administration will improve the working conditions for all officers. And more importantly, all officers will be treated fairly. Let me advise you now that while we will be fair, we will be firm, as there is no place in the chain of command at Her Majesty's prison for a corrupt officer. With the theme embracing the legacy and forging ahead with excellence, Minister of National Security, the Honorable Dr. Bernard Nottage, encouraged the new prison recruits to put this positive slogan into practice. Now I have the opportunity to put into practice what you have learned as you rotate through the various housing units in the prison over the next eight months while completing your one-year probationary period. I urge you never to forget that prison service is a demanding profession, a job that has its challenges its frustrations and an inherent degree of risk.